In this video, we'll explore how to find the f of x or y-intercepts of a function. First, let's look at the definition. The point where a graph crosses the f of x or y-axis is called the f of x or y-intercept. Just a quick side note. In function notation, we say that y equals f of x. Therefore, we can use y or f of x interchangeably. Let's look at a common function. f of x equals x squared. We know this function looks something like this. We also know that the f of x part has an exponent of 1, which means that there will be one f of x or y-intercept. Let's see what happens when we move our graph over to our grid. Here, the graph crosses the f of x axis at 0, or the point 0, 0. If we shift the curve around a bit, here you'll notice that it crosses the f of x axis at 1, or the point 0, 1. Here you'll notice that it crosses the f of x axis at negative 2, or the point 0, negative 2. In each case, you'll notice that x is always equal to 0 for f of x or y intercept. And our intercept in this case here is the point 0, negative 2. So let's finish off by looking at an example. Here we're asked to find the f of x or y intercept of f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Recall from above that x is always equal to 0 for an f of x or y intercept. So we simply substitute the 0 in for x. So we go 2 times 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 2. 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0 minus 2 gives us the value of negative 2. Therefore, the f of x intercept is negative 2 or the point 0, negative 2.